What is good everybody, welcome back to another Money of Toys video. Today we are back with brand new AEW action figure news. Yes, and it's actually some big news and it's kind of crazy because it kind of flew under the radar. As you guys know, we had AEW Double or Nothing just the past weekend, just this past weekend. And while they were doing the event itself, they always, or they they tend to, it's more than likely they're going to do an AEW Fan Fest where they do a setup. It's like ringside collectibles. They got AEW and Jazzwares there and they take the time to do a setup and they have a panel and they do all these things and it's similar to a Wrestlemania Superstore or similar to a Ringside Fest, the San Diego Comic-Con. Maybe not as big as a San Diego Comic-Con style event, but it is still a setup. It's a very, you know, SDCC-like where they show off figures, they announce figures, they have them on display, and all those things. If you guys missed my AEW Fan Fest coverage, definitely go check it out. Tons of amazing figures, exclusives to Ringside Collectibles, Walmart, Amazon, all those different things. Fantastic reveal day, I think. And we got a lot more than I expected, so it was a great day of reveals. But this right here, man, this video right here was actually at the end of the Ringside Collectibles AEW Jazzwares panel that they had at FanFest, and there was no, like, nobody that attended the event talked about it. I didn't see anybody share anything about it, and may, I don't know if they were waiting around or what the deal was or what it was, but I thought it was big enough to make a video about, and it's definitely big enough here on the channel to discuss in a full video. It, it is that big of a deal, man. Let's talk about it. This video right here, I want to play the video so you guys can see, but at the end of the video, it does, like, a little color, you know, interruption thing, and then it shows these clips of old wrestling style clips as you guys can tell and in these clips you guys can see different guys making their entrances you can see the ring of honor banners on the sides of the screen and it, it's like oh snap these are all AEW stars but they're clearly younger in these videos as you guys see it through the video going through at the end it says jazz it's like a jazz Wars logo and it says vault and it looks to be now you'd have to be insane not to put two and two together here but even in the audio of this video I think it's one of the design members on the jazz Wars team comes on and says, I think it's Ethan Page or somebody comes on and they say, dude, are we getting Ring of Honor figures? Or is this a Ring of Honor line? Or something to the, it's something to that nature. And the Jazzwares design team member says, stay tuned to AEW by Jazzwares and Jazzwares for announcements in the coming months. So, what does that mean? Is it like a Ring of Honor team? Uh, stay tuned to AEW by Jazzwares for updates in the coming months. Mm, very interesting. What a teaser. All right, let's hear it. If you look at this video and you see what's portrayed there, it looks like you have a young Brian Danielson, Claudio Castelloni, you have the Young Bucks going through there, the Briscoe Brothers, you got Kenny Omega there, Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, you got Danhausen in the video. It would appear to me that it looks like we are going to be getting Ring of Honor figures, man. A Ring of Honor AEW Jazzwares wrestling figure line, which is an absolute dream for a lot of people. A lot of people have been clamoring for this for, for years, man. Can you imagine all the different talent that you can make the the them having the rights to doing these attires to doing these gears and things like that man th this gets me really really excited because you can do some epic moments and some insane like defining moments career moments from times in these past wrestlers careers man this this opens the doors to so much for what we could get for the future and AEW's roster is absolutely loaded with people or talent that has performed in Ring of Honor and done fantastic things there, worn, worn iconic gears that people have made customs of. I mean, you have such a opportunity right here to make unbelievable figures, and I cannot wait to see what comes of this. Now, again, like I said, nobody really was talking about this or sharing this around, but at the end of the panel video, they posted it up to YouTube, and there was nothing in the comment section about it, but it is in like the last 30 to 40 seconds of it, so if you didn't watch it to the very, very end, you probably, you, you weren't going to notice it, right? You're not, gonna, you're, you're not gonna see it, so you had to have watched the last like minute or so of the 35 or whatever it was minute video. If you guys want to, definitely go check it out on Ringside Collectibles channel. It's a really good panel. I enjoyed it. Ethan Page was there. Jeff Hardy was there. And it's cool to see them react to their figures as, you know, we do when we're getting them on our phones and stuff like that. So it was a really awesome video and I had to talk about this. So the door is open to so many things, man. I mean, can you imagine the type of talent that we can get in this line? I mean, you, you saw a few names there in the video that we talked about with like throwback bucks. So many different buck attires that we could get. Kenny Omega, like I said, any like all the Bullet Club members, Brian Danielson. I mean, not to mention, I, I know that we had a Luminaries Collection Unmatched Collection Series 8 CM Punk. I don't know what's up with that figure. I don't know. Did they remove that figure and then put him in the Ring of Honor line? Or we're going to have both or what that is? I guess we have to wait and see. Like all of it right now is just speculation. But obviously, they are, you know, lobbing up a, a softball toss right there for us to crush it. That it's going to be a Ring of Honor AEW Jazzwares line for wrestling coming. And it's, it's unbelievable, man. Like, are we going to get the 
at championships, are they going to do a Ring of Honor ring? I know that we've seen a Ring of Honor ring from other companies before, but they have opened the, the gates to some unbelievable stuff. It's going to be similar to, you guys know how WWE has rights to do WCW stuff. It's no different than AEW having Ring of Honor stuff, so we're going to get tons of flashback figures, hopefully, and I'm very interested to know what the vault means. Like, is that going to, it says Jazzwares Vault. Is that going to be their equivalent of Mattel Creations? Like, I, I, I don't know exactly where that fits in, because it's not like they said Ring of Honor Vault or something like that. So, Jazzwares Vault or whatever that is seems to be a, a new project or something that they're working on. I'm very intrigued to know exactly what that means, but going back to some talent that you could get, I mean, you're thinking Samoa Joe is on the roster. You have Brian Danielson, you have CM Punk, you have Adam Cole, you have Kenny Omega, the Briscoes. I mean, in Series 1, if you had to if you had to fantasy book Series 1, I would imagine it would probably be a lot of guys that were in this video. Like, I could see a Claudio Castelloni, I could see a Brian Danielson, CM Punk, Samoa Joe, the Briscoes. I mean, I know you gotta have, I, I mean, a lot of those guys right there are big time talent names anyway. You're not gonna, like, every name that we've named is a pretty sought after figure, I would say. I mean, even when you get into your Kyle O'Reilly's of the world and stuff like that, those are still highly sought after figures. Those are gonna be the hottest figures in those sets because those guys have really big fan bases. But Ring of Honor, there is so much, and, and then you think about, like, what if Cody was still under contract, man? Can you imagine that? And, like, are we gonna get exclusive championships, you know? When you talk about, like, different things that have happened in Ring of Honor relative to people that are on the roster, you have just an unlimited supply of things you can make. So, it is going to be absolutely off the chain for what we could get. I mean, you could even get the Hardy Boys. We could get Hardys from their time in Ring of Honor. You can get, I mean, I don't know what the, you know, we don't know what the entire landscape of it looks like. We don't know what the deal looks like or exactly what they can make and what they can't make. But, I mean, I would be willing to bet that they have have their hands on a lot of very toyetic and things that all of us are going to want in our figure shelves and this just opens up a whole thing you have your WWE display and then you have what your NXT display in your room and then you can chop it down you have your AEW display and then you have your Ring of Honor display with all of the different characters man oh my god I cannot wait to see exactly what comes to fruition with this line and what exactly this entails but I want to give a huge shout out to I gotta give a huge shout out to my man Magic and the entire AEW Jazzwares design team and everybody working on these figures every single day and Ringside Collectibles for doing the panel there and having all of this together, man. So this, this looks insanity. I cannot wait to see again what comes of this. Who we get, who's in it. I mean, the, the, the sky's the limit, I would say, because you have so much you could do. And I'm wondering if they're going to be exclusive or if they're going to be mainline. Are they like are they going to have Ring of Honor figures just out there at Walmart, or are they going to have them as exclusives to Ringside Collectibles? Are they going to have them, like I said, as a Jazzwares Vault exclusive to where you have to go on to like a Jazzwares site like a Mattel Creations, like a Hasbro Pulse, etc.? That's kind of what I'm leaning towards. I think it's going to be a Jazzwares official website like a Mattel Creations or a Hasbro Pulse where you can get these limited items and they'll probably be made to order maybe. Maybe that's how they'll do it. Kind of test the waters a little bit maybe with like a, a... And then you're not even touching on... And that all goes back to like... Like they'll probably have a regular line of figures where it's just unrivaled style or unmatched style. But you know they're going to do some like one-off Ring of Honor exclusive Supreme Edition. Christ on a bicycle, Brad. And then you throw in the packaging that they could do, custom made. Just so many things up in the air. Obviously, we don't know all the details just yet, but I'm hoping that we get some answers relatively soon because I, for one, am going to be buying every single one of them. No shocker to that, Brad. You buy everything, you dumb son of a bitch. And I'll be lining up for this one too. But nonetheless, man, I had to get on here, talk about it, and let you guys know about it. I posted the video over on my Instagram. You can go to Ringside Collectibles YouTube channel and watch the full panel if you'd like to as well. But I had to make a video about it because nobody had been talking about it. And it's a it's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. It's huge news. And I think everybody's going to be super psyched about it. But I want to know down in the comment section below, are you guys interested in a Ring of Honor line? All the people in my comments on my Instagram are definitely excited about it and ready Ready to see exactly what we're getting here but I want to know where you guys stand down in the comment section below let me know down below what you guys think about this and where you guys stand on a ring of honor line but nonetheless man that is going to wrap up my video news today man shout out to our patrons shout out to the patron army of the MDT YouTube channel always appreciate you guys so much if you guys are interested in signing up link in the description below follow me on Instagram Twitter and TikTok at my damn toys 
Use code MDTOYS at Ringside Collectibles to save 10%. Tons and tons of ish up for pre-order right now. Elite 104 just went up for pre-order. Basic Series 140. Ultimate Edition Best of Series 2 featuring Ultimate Warrior and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Elite Top Picks 2023 Wave with Roman Reigns, Matt Riddle, and Cody Rhodes. Could have swore that was supposed to be Rey Mysterio, but who am I? Maybe these are basics? I don't freaking know. You can never... It seems like this is going to be basics, but who knows, man? You never know nowadays. It's like... There's like... Hit us like two or three three top talents waves a year not to mention all of the aew exclusives that are up for pre-order right now at ringside collection you have the very nice very evil danhausen ringside exclusive and the blood and guts wheeler yuda and then coming soon we do have sammy guevara and hook but the danhausen and the wheeler yuda are both up for pre-order so definitely go get on those man but i'm getting out of here thank you for watching subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one and get hyped for ring of honor figures